It is Friday, August 21st, 2020, and it's 2.46 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2.47 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I was going to delete part one of this video, but the Holy Spirit told me not to. Because the Holy Spirit needs to pe needs for people to see how afflicted that the enemy makes people. And what happened as I was reading that was I got a phone call. And uh, being that I'm roaming out here in the desert, well, the phone never rings, but it shows that I got a phone call. Well... I thought that it happened to be from my mother, whom up until two and a half weeks ago, I was estranged from my mother for 21 years. Well, my mother is living in, a, in an impossible situation under the care of my niece, who is evidently neglecting her, or according to my brother, you know, my mother is very mean to my niece and to the grandchildren, but according to my mother, she never sees them. They live 20 hours away from me and I can't do anything. It's an impossible situation for me. And I was already upset as I was reading this. And I was on the phone for, I don't know, at least two hours. And, and I just kept telling my mother, look, Mama, I just want to go back to reading the Bible. We just need to trust in the Lord. Because the, the reason that I was estranged from my mother in the first place was because the Lord promised me that he was going to take care of my mother. For me to take care of myself and my son, and that he would take care of my mother. And so, but now I find myself in this situation where I wanted to, to lose the, the estrangement here on earth. And I still do, but I can't do anything to help her as long as she wants to stay in the situation that she's in. So, I don't know who's telling the truth. And frankly, I don't care. Honest to God, I don't care. My brother, he knows about my channel. He hasn't watched one of my videos. He didn't care to. So, he can kiss my butt too. All of them can. Except for my mother. And I told my mother, please, Mama, I just want to make sure that you have forgiven me and I have forgiven you and we have loosed this 21-year estrangement because Jesus is coming soon. And I don't know whether she's lost it or not, but I know that the situation that she's living in is not good. My I mean, my niece... My brother's daughter spent $300,000 of my daddy's money that my daddy left to take care of my mother. And I don't know what happened to it. I wasn't around. And in, and in the meantime, you know, about five, you know, five years into it, after my daddy died, then my mama got poisoned with rat poison, and I got a phone call from the... From the um, chief oncologist at the University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston who told me that he was pretty sure that my mother was poisoned with rat poison. He wouldn't know till the next morning until the test came in. But he had been, he was an old man. He had been doing that for years and he was 99% sure. Well, yeah, come to find out somebody had been poisoning her. Well, this was shortly after my mama got all this money and Sarah, my brother's niece, had access to all this money and I think that she was just stupid enough to think that she could kill my mama and get the money. Anyway, when the Texas Rangers and the law got involved and I got there, um, anyway, it's a long story, but I didn't talk to them again. It, it, I didn't, I stopped talking to my mama on November the 18th, 1999 when, when Aggie Bonfire fell and she didn't have any idea what that had to do with me when it was my job working with Aggie Bonfire and I knew those 12 kids who died and I was a slave to my mother. I was raised, I was raised to take care of my mother and that was my job, my purpose, but I had a four-year-old child at the time, but the Lord told me at the time leave. I'll take care of your mama. And I was so happy. And I did. 
But every single year, I sent my mama pictures of my son growing up. Anyway, long story short, I never heard from my mother. I asked my adult son to contact her when I was going to prison. She did. I asked him to ask her to write to me. She didn't. But that's all on her. I just wanted her to forgive me. And I guess that she has. But I can't deal with their drama anymore. We're going to go back to reading the Bible. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And Jim, Victory, if you ever listen to this, I'm not getting involved in any of y'all's drama. I love you. You're my brother. If you ever want to do anything for me that doesn't involve drama, then you know where I live. Verse 7. But the man that shall touch them must be fenced with iron and the staff of a spear, and they shall be utterly burned with fire in the same place. These be the names of the mighty men whom David had. The Tachamite that sat in the seat, chief among the captains, the same was Adino the Esnite. He lifted up his spear against 800 whom he slew at one time. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo the Ahoite, one of the three mighty men with David, when they, defied, when they defied the Philistines that were gathered together to battle, and the men of Israel were gone away. He arose and smote the Philistines until his hand was weary, and his hand clave unto the sword. And the Lord wrought a great victory that day, and the people returned after him only to spoil. And after him was Shammah, the son of Aji, the Herit, the Herorite, and the Philistines were gathered together in a troop where, um, where was a piece of ground full of lentils, and the people fled from the Philistines. But he stood in the midst of the ground and defended it and, flew, and slew the Philistines, and the Lord wrought a great victory. And three of the thirty chief went down and came to David in the harvest time until the cave of Adullam, and the troop of the Philistines pitched in the valley of Rephim. And David was then in an, in an hold, and the garrison of the Philistines was then in Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would, would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. And the three mighty men break through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem, that was by the gate, and took it, and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he would not drink thereof, but poured it out unto the Lord. And he said, Be it far from me, O Lord, that I should do this. It is not, it is not this the blood of the men that went in jeopardy of their lives? Therefore he would not drink it. These things did three, did, these things did these three mighty men. And Abashi, the brother of Joab, the son of Zeru Zeruiah, was chief among three. And he lifted up his spear against three hundred and slew them and had the name among three. Was he not most honorable of three? Therefore he was their captain, howbeit attained not unto the first three. And ben Benaniah, Benaniah, the son of Jeho Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man of Kabzeel, who had done many facts, many acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab. He went down also and slew a lion in the midst in, a, in the in the midst of a pit in time of snow. And he slew an Egyptian, a godly man. And the Egyptian had a spear in his hand, but he went down to him with a staff and plucked a spear out of the Egyptian's hand and slew him with his own spear. These things did ben Beniah the son of Jehoiada, and had the name among three mighty men. Um, he was more honorable than the thirty, but he attained not to the first three, and David set him over his guard. As Asahel, the brother of Joab, was one of thirty, Elhanan, the son of Dodo of Bethlehem. Shammah, the, the Herodite, Elika, the Herodite, Heles, the, Pal the Paltite, Ira, the son of Ikesh, and Tekoite, Abiezer, the Anethothite, Mebunai, and Hushathite, 
Zalman and Ahoite, Mahari, the Netophathite, Heleb, the son of Bena, a Netophathite, Ittai, the son of Ribai, out of Gibeah, and the children of Benjamin. Beniah, the Parathonite, Hittai, of the brooks of Gash, Abilbon, the Arbathite, as Mavith, the Barhamite, Eliaba, the, she- the Shelbonite of the sons of Jason, Jonathan. Shema, the Herorite. Ahiam, the son of Sherar, the Herorite. Eliphet, the son of Ahashbi, the son of Maacathite. Me- Eliam, the son of Ahithophel, the Gilanite. Hezri, the Carmelite. Perai, the Arbite. Egal, the son of Nathan of Zobai, Bani, the Gadite, Zel- Zelek, the Ammonite, Nahari, Nahari, the Berothite, armor bearer to Joab, the son of Zariah, Ira, the Ithrite, Garib, and Ithrite, Uriah, the Hittite, thirty and seven in all. Wow. Well, I'm sure that I butchered all of those names. Hallelujah.